Sometimes the mycelium in a liquid culture jar will grow too thick and we won't be able to make any syringes with it because it will just clog. The magnetic stir bar just isn't good enough to break up those large chunks of mycelium. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use a blender blade to break up that mycelium and make the jar usable. This Oster blender has an all metal blade that can also fit on a regular mouth jar. I check to make sure there's no leaks without using the silicone gasket that comes with the blender. After testing it, it seems to be a pretty good seal. Now that we know it works, all we have to do is sterilize the metal blade in the pressure cooker at 15 psi for 20 minutes. I just wrapped the blade in a few layers of aluminum foil, but you can probably put it in something safer. I'm using a pressure cooker to sterilize the blade, but if you don't have one, you could use a canning pot with the lid on and boil it for two hours. After it's done being sterilized, you can let it cool down and then you can bring it in front of your laminar flow hood or inside of a still air box. After it has cooled down, you can wipe everything with isopropyl alcohol and then you can attach the blade to the liquid culture jar. To prevent the magnetic stir bar from being chopped up by the blade, I'm going to use a magnet to hold it to the bottom of the jar while it is flipped upside down. The magnet does a pretty good job and I'm glad that I had one laying around or else I wouldn't have been able to blend this jar. The blender seems almost too powerful even on low mode so I think next time I'll use a hand drill to spin the blade. It should only take a few seconds to pulverize the mycelium and then you can reattach the original lid. This method could be very useful if you have thick mycelium that gets clogged in your syringe 
or I've even heard of people using water and grain spawn and blending that and using that as a liquid inoculant. I'm pretty happy with the results as I'll be able to make syringes with this liquid culture now but always make sure to test them on agar plates and make sure that they're clean. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you if you keep getting clogged syringes. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.